Hey everyone, Couch Investor back with another video for you today. So today we're going to talk about the ARK Genomic ETF, ARKG. A lot of you have requested this video. So here it is. We're going to discuss why this is a huge opportunity. Like Cathy Wood said, she believes it has a bigger upside than Tesla. The biggest upside surprises are going to come from the genomic space. And she also believes that this is going to be the next FANG. Uh, we actually think the next FANGs are in the genomic age. Yes, I know that ARKG is not available to a lot of my viewers because here in Europe, buying US ETFs is usually a problem. I've been in contact with eToro actually asked them to add ARKG, they've been adding all the other ARK ETFs. So if you want, you can also spam them with email suggestions to add ARKG until they do so. They actually recently added Tattoo Chef. For those of you that have watched my videos about Tattoo Chef, finally eToro has that. But in this video, we're going to talk about why genomics is growing a lot, why now white actually failed in the early 2000s and how it can literally change the world. But before I do so, we're on our way to 10,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. And if you like these videos, leave it an early thumbs up as it really helps me outgrow the channel and get my videos out there. Now, without further ado, let's dive into this. Right, so genomics is actually nothing new. It has been going on for a while. I don't know if some of you are Jurassic Park fans, but you might remember this. A full DNA strain contains three billion genetic codes. If we look at screens like these once a second for eight hours a day, it'd take two years to look at the entire DNA strain. It's that long. It's full of holes. Now that's where our geneticists take over. Thinking machines, supercomputers, and gene sequencers break down the strand in minutes. And virtual reality displays show our geneticists the gaps in the DNA sequence. The basic concept is actually the same. By the way, I'm no doctor or specialist in this field, so don't take this as medical advice or something. But you can actually learn a lot from what they've been doing in Jurassic Park to try and basically understand what genomics is and what gene sequencing actually means. Now to make it even simpler, I'm going to read something Elon said during an interview regarding vaccines. So it was an interview regarding a lot of things. Link will be down in the description as always. So they suddenly talked about vaccine and Elon responded by saying there is a massive interest in the acceleration of vaccines. The mRNA vaccines in particular are very interesting because they can be potential cures for cancer. I think the work of BioNTech, CureVac, Moderna, the future of medicine is mRNA. You can cure basically anything with mRNA. It is just like a computer program, basically a synthetic virus. You can program it to do anything you want you could turn into a butterfly practically. I'm also going to link in the description an article regarding the mRNA so you can better understand what it is. But maybe now you will understand why Elon is so into Neuralink. The human body is actually basically like a computer. When a computer has a virus, thanks Bill Gates, you or somebody creates an antivirus, you run the program and voila. Now with genomic sequencing, you can actually do three things. And for that, let's go and look at ARC's white paper. Right, so as we can see here, potential clinical applications of genomic sequencing, three parts. First up, we have the undiagnosed patients. So combined with other electronic healthcare data, genetic information could identify cancer in stage one. Then you have the diagnosed patients. Next gen sequencing enables sophisticated tumor profiling and precision therapies throughout the course of treatment. And then you have the third one, which is patients in remission. So again, next generation sequencing can monitor patients in remission non-invasively and frequently to identify recurrences. So you might ask yourself, since it is so revolutionary, why hasn't this been done before? Well, they actually tried to do this before, but in the early days, it cost billions of dollars. In 2003, decoding a human genome actually cost over $2.5 billion. Nowadays, it's at $600, but ARC believes this number can fall under the $100 mark in the years to come. The amount of genome sequence will also 40x in the next four years, according to ARC. More sequencing means more data. More data means more ways to try and cure and prevent diseases. Let's take cancer for example. So the cost effectiveness analysis for gene therapies, this is about chronic cancer treatment. So first up we have average cost of chronic cancer treatment versus gene therapies. Now as you can see here, the cost of cancer gene therapies is higher than the chronic cancer treatment, but the gene therapies is likely to be just a one-time administered cure rather than maybe doing this part a couple of times. Then you have the average life years gained by treatment paradigm. 
as you can see there's a difference there's a 3x difference between the two so maybe yes it's worth to pay a bit more and lastly you have the average cost of cancer care per life year gained so as we can see here you gain three years extra you pay a bit more but in total you actually pay less than the usual chronic cancer treatment it's not only about curing a specific disease, it's also about preventing one. Genetic deficiencies and disorder will actually be changed thanks to the genomic revolution, as we can hear here from Kathy Woods. Pediatric blindness. A baby born blind, you correct that programming error, the baby can see, it works in mice, it works in non-human primates. If it works in human beings, think about how, how, what the reaction will be. Now you might ask yourself why didn't this work in the early 2000s besides the huge price that it cost why was there a genomic bubble in the year 2000 well like the tech bubble there was an immense amount of money going into those companies but the results were close to zero now it's actually the complete opposite there's not enough money going into these companies and the results are actually insane now before I conclude this video let's quickly look at the ARCG ETF and try to explain what each and every company does Right, so at number 10 is Invite. I think I'm actually the only one that has covered Invite on the channel. So Invite, what do they do? It's basically, they make affordable genetic tests. Then Iovance Biotherapeutics, what do they do? They make tumor therapies against cancer. Exact Sciences are responsible for early detection of diseases. Regeneron Pharmaceuticals, they bring new revolutionary medicine to patients. Fate Therapeutic actually are a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company dedicated to the development of next generation cellular immunotherapies for cancer and immune disorders. Cardex and Teladoc are all about AI analytics telemedicine, etc. CRISPR therapeutic, very popular. What do they do? They're basically the leader in the gene editing technology. Twist Bioscience, they create synthetic DNA, very, very interesting company. And Pacific Biosciences of California, what do they do is gene sequencing technology. Right, so to conclude, I'm super bullish on the genomic revolution. Unfortunately, I cannot buy the ARCG ETF. Some of you might have seen, I only have Teladoc in my portfolio right now in the genomic world. But in other portfolios I manage, I have Invite, I have CRISPR and Pacific Biosciences. Obviously, if you can buy the RG ETF, that's a much better play unless you're an expert in the field and you have time to look over and cover all of those companies. If not, you can always copy the ETF on your own. But as of now, that's just the way it is. The moment I will be able to buy RG ETF, I will be buying that and selling my other stocks. Going forward, I will only expect these companies to grow more and more I think a lot of us have seen actually last year how quickly the government and the whole procedure towards a vaccine or a medicine has actually accelerated when they actually need to do so. Usually it takes years and years before a treatment comes to the market, but if they want, there is a way, and this is the way. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. And that will be it for this video. If you like it, consider leaving a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, we're on the way to 10,000 subscribers. So hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, take care, stay safe, and see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.